It's always a pleasure having you here as we discuss the market, how to trade it the proper way. And uh, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and of course give this video a like. Now we're going to be looking at consolidation or ranging or choppy or sideways or equilibrium market. How do you identify a sideways market? And what comes after a sideways market, right? First of all, when we talk about sideways market, it has to do with market moving in a sideways, simple. Market moving, you know, equilibrium status. Like you can see this box that we have here on the USD JPY. You can see that the market has been moving sideways here. And of course, this sideways market also comes when we have a bullish run or maybe even a bearish run, right? And this is something that is very common in the market. Why? Because after a bullish run or a bearish run, in this case, a bullish run, the market has to rest. There tends to be that form of profit-taking exhaustion, and then the market will now pick the direction it wants to go, right? So this one here, as you can see, the market has been ranging for a little while, but then, of course, this is not going to happen forever. It's either going to break to the upside or break to the downside. So all you have to do whenever you have a ranging market or sideways or choppy, equilibrium, whatever you want to call it, whenever you have that kind of market, the best thing for you to do is to wait for the breakout and then possibly a pullback to that area for you to follow that new direction as you can see either to the upside or to the downside what most traders do while inside the range is probably to scalp right you could have scalpers that are doing this on a lower time frame and they, they might be probably having some good amount of pips right but ranging market sideways the best thing to do is to wait for a breakout and then follow on the pullback after that breakout so this is one that we have over here and then i'm going to show you another one that is happening presently and this one has been happening for a while too and that has to do with the usd card which is known as the loony the usd card known as the loony so once again how do you identify the sideways market you will see it clearly and of course the longer it moves the clearer it it will be because if you look very well too you could have some small pockets of this sideways uh action here but this one is well pronounced and this is obviously coming after a long and hard bearish move right and this one now as you can see it has been moving sideways playing between this key levels here as you can see you would have a key level of support and resistance that has been bouncing you know up and down from and you can see over here it's actually tested these highs here only to retreat back into the range and that's the same thing that happened over here when we had this big bearish candle it tested here it had a little fake out here but it is still within the range the consolidation the equilibrium the choppy markets uh sideways action and so on sideways market so this is how to identify a range and of course what to do if you could either be a scalper trading the bands within the range or you could simply wait for a breakout to the upside and then when it pulls back to that consolidation you look forward to longs or it breaks out to the downside out of the range a pullback to the consolidation area which should now act as resistance and then you now look forward to selling so this is what normally happens when you have a range bound market consolidation market sideways market choppy market and so on and these are things that you always see in the market so depending on the structure of the consolidation identify it pick the highs and the lows look very well because you're going to use your eyes to identify the two key levels that it is bouncing off as support and resistance and then you simply wait for the market to do its thing and one key thing I'll tell you is that the market tends to be in a range more times than not. It could be a small range 
or it could be a major range these are small ranges here i'm going to number them this was more or less a small range called this number one another small range but this here number three is a major range because it's taking a longer longer time to either break out to the upside or to the downside it's playing within the two bands of this consolidation now if this video was helpful in explaining the range how to identify the range of course uh seeing a range after a bullish or a bearish run and also what to do after the range meaning that you wait for the breakout to the upside or to the downside for you to have a better idea of the direction it wants to take and also take note of false moves or fake outs right fake outs are very dangerous it could trap you and then the market goes back into the range you are in heavy drawdown right so you want a proper breakout to the upside or downside retest and then you get your entry over there if this video was helpful you know what to do give it a thumbs up you can comment in the section below and of course it would help you to understand the market much better right so thank you Thank you and thank you and trade safely. Goodbye.